Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. Today we will be connecting an NBHMI to the SysMac NX1P over Ethernet. First we're going to create a new project in SysMac Studio. Then we'll create the variables and program and then download and save. And then we'll go to NB Designer and create our project. We will launch SysMac Studio version 117 or higher and create a new project and give the project a name. Here we called it NX1P to HMI. We will select our controller and we're going to select NX1P and then we're going to select the specific controller that we have which is the 9024DT1. It's a 24 point I.O. unit with PNP outputs. In this case it's version 113. We'll hit create and the first thing that we're going to do is go to our I.O. map and our I.O. map is where all the inputs and outputs are and we're going to come over here and we're going to create some device variables. We'll right mouse click and select create device variable and here auto named our device variables uh, bit IO input bit 0 up to 13 and bit IO output bit 0 to 9. The next thing we're going to do is go to our controller and look to see what the IP address of our PLC is. And the IP address of our PLC is 192.168.250.1. Then we will go to memory settings and here we're going to use the W settings, the work relays, as our data that we're going to uh, transfer back and forth between our NBHMI. And then we will go to our data and then global variables and already our bit IO have all been added here. We can see those and then we're going to insert, we'll create new and the new one we will call it HMI underscore input and we'll give it an AT specification of percent W0.00 .00. and then we will publish that. What that will do is uh, work relay 0, .00, 0.00 uh, when we press a button on the HMI that bit will turn on and that will then we'll be able to see that in our PLC. We'll now create a couple more variables. Next we will go to our programming section and create a program. We'll add a contact and we'll call it H. We'll start with the letter H and we'll do the HMI input and we'll have an output go to HMI output. We're also I'm going to drag across here to the end and I'm going to select another output and here I'm going to hit control space and here we can see our real I.O. and I'm going to select the very first output, bit I.O. output bit 0. So that's in parallel. And then I'm going to type the letter R to get a new rung. I'll do C for contact and now I'm going to select, I did control space and I'm going to do input and then I'll do a bracket 0 so our very first input type the letter O for output and I want uh, output and then bracket 0 that's my very first output from my array and now I'm going to transfer this to my PLC 
first I need to come up to my communications and I'm connected via a hub. My address 192.168.250.001. Check my communications, hit OK, go online. Come over to transfer to controller. Click OK. And now I'm going to go to create my NB HMI. I've opened up NB Designer and I'm going to create a new project and call it NB to NX1P. Click OK. And now I'm going to add my PLC, my Omron CJCS and NJ. Double click on here and I'm going to set him to be address number 1, 192.168.250.1. And then I'll add my PT, my HMI. And I'll give him an IP address of 3. Click OK. And then I'll add an Ethernet connection in between. I'll click Add to add my HMI. It's node 3. And my PLC, which is node 1. And click OK. Now I'm going to go to frame number 0, or my very first screen. And I'm going to add a bit switch. And I'm going to select the W area, which is my HMI input. And it's 0, 0, 0.00. Under bit switch, I'm going to select, select momentary. So when I press it, it comes on. When I let go, it turns off. And then I'll click OK. And then drag it and then make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to add labels here in a minute. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my bit lamp. And bit lamp, come over. And I know I want the W area here as well. And zero work bit 0 0.01. And I'll click OK. And I'll bring this over here. And here is my finished project. I've got my HMI input. I've cleaned up the graphics by selecting uh, specific graphics. I've added labels on here as well. So when HMI input turns on, it's going to turn the output on. And when my input array turns on, it's going to turn on my output array. Let's look at the properties for my bit switches for my arrayed variables. We've got work bit 10.00 for input array the very first one and then my output is going to be work bit 11.00 we'll now go to tools compile and then download And now I'm going to do indirect online test, and you'll be able to 
actually see the HMI from my screen here. And here's our working NB program. I press the HMI input, and it turns the output on. I hit one of the input arrays, and it turns the array output on. Let's look at our PLC program. Here's our PLC program along with the NB program. Turn on my HMI, and we can see the outputs turn on. And here I'm turning on the input, or I could also force the input on here. And, and see the output turn on here as well. And that is how to connect an NB HMI to the NX1P.